Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix face unlock not working. Before we start, hurry up and check out our daily software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you actually fix this issue with your face unlock? Well, the first thing that we want to do here is we want to make sure if our settings are properly set up here. So in this case, go, go ahead and open up settings here. And under settings, you want to scroll down a bit here and look for passwords and security or just security, depending on the phone that you have right now. So let's go ahead and open up password and security. Now, in this case, as you can see, I have face unlock here. So in this case, if you see that face unlock is turned off, it means that it's not yet set up and you might need to set this up first. So typically when you click on it, you'll have the option to enter your password. So let's just enter a password here. Now on the next key screen, you should be able to see this one. So you just need to set this up for you to start using face unlock. Now in this case, typically after setting this up, you should be able to start using it and just basically using your face to unlock your phone. But then again, uh, what are the other things that you could basically see here or do to fix this issue if you've already set this up? So one of them is to ensure or make sure that you have your phone updated. So meaning you need to open up your settings here. You need to either go to about phone and if you see any updates, make sure to install that. I also suggest you to go to system apps of Vader here and make sure that you update all the apps that you have right now. So uh, those are the things that you could do here to probably fix this issue. Now, additionally, this is just an optional thing that you could do here. Sometimes uh, you just need to restart your phone. So press and hold on your power button and you want to click on the option that says reboot or power off. So basically a good restart on your phone can actually solve a lot of issues here. But again, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.